Lyric Kids. This is Katie Carty Hiley from RainbowBright.net, and this is what's left of the Rainbow Land Museum. Yes, I know. Sad, sad faces, sad crying. I, I hear it all. I feel it all. I know. Um, but I know a lot of you have been curious about what I kept, and you you wanted to see what happened to it. And so so here we go. I'm gonna go slowly. Um, kind of shelf by shelf to just show you guys uh, and kind of explain why I kept specific things too. Um, so this pillow twink from like the 2003 era, yeah actually specifically, um, this one, this specific one <laughs> um, was sent to me by Hallmark. This was back, yeah, I guess that was 2002, three, no I guess it was three. Um, and they sent me some samples, yeah, some things that were about to come out but that had not come out yet. And I know that it's this specific one because a dog that I was living with at the time had a little bit of fun with Romeo's shoe there. Uh, I'm not Romeo, oh my God, Twink, Twink's shoe. Um, so, you know, I didn't wanna give that to someone else and be like, here, here's this damaged doll. And I have great love for it because he's really, really cute. And it reminds me of another time when a lot of cool Rainbow Bright stuff was coming out. Um, and I had a, you know, a really good relationship with Hallmark and the companies who were making this stuff. So yeah, it's a, a fun memory. Um, this is, of course, my Met in Box Moon Glow, which I got, what, just a couple of years ago? Something like that? Um, yes, she made it safely all the way to Switzerland. So she know, <laughs> full circle, she came from Germany to me and then back across the ocean to Switzerland, which is just south of Germany for those of you who don't know. Um, and yeah, she's still beautiful and perfect. I made sure to package her very well. And this is my custom night spray that my friend Allie made for me because it's just too cute. I had to keep it. Um, Let's see if I, I'm gonna move this real quick. We'll get back to that. It's not actually Rainbow Bright, but I love it. Um, this is my, uh, what you call it, Peril in the Pits animation cell that I finally got framed. Again, this was a few years ago at this point. My, uh, my mother-in-law helped me frame it and I don't, yeah, yeah, I never actually got around to hanging it in the Rainbow Land Museum, but I've had it for a while, wanting to display it somewhere. So yeah, that, that had to come with me. That's my favorite episode. And I remember being super excited when I got that cell. Sorry, this is trying to fall down. Um, so yeah, I, I had to hang on to that, of course. Uh, back here is my copy of the Paint a Rainbow in Your Heart record that, where is it? Here we go, that Pat Fraley signed for me. Um, this was a copy he had, actually. He contacted me, I think it was by email, years and years ago and asked me if I wanted this. And I'm like, only if you sign it. <laughs> yes, please. Um, he's just the nicest, love him. This is, of course, my Rainbow Bright prototype doll that I found um, on, where was it? I don't know, it came from Australia. I think the person, that's right, they emailed me and were just asking me like, what? what is this doll? I don't see any other pictures like her. And I got them to send me a bunch of other photos of her like clothing and without her clothing. And we figured out she was a prototype. And, you know, I was honest about it. I'm like, hey, I, I would love that. What would you, what do you want for her? <laughs> and I don't remember exactly what I paid, but I, I know it wasn't a ton. I got an incredibly good deal on her and I want a better box for her. This is just plastic and it's not made for her. I, I don't remember where I got it. So those of you who have done cool stuff with like plexiglass boxes, please let me know how you did that. This is my Pillow Pal Starlight and I had a couple of these. This one, you can see it's kind of dirty, um, is the one I used to have on my bed in the Rainbow Land Museum and Wisp loved it. She would always need her little paws onto its back. So I was like, well, I, again, it's dirty. I don't want to give it to someone else and be like, here's this dirty doll. Um, but it also has happy memories associated with it, and it's just adorable. Now, this is not Rainbow Bright, as you can see, but it's just so cool. Um, this actually, my mom got for me as a birthday present. We found it here in Zurich. We were just at this funny little shop that had a little bit of everything, and up on the shelf was this amazing alicorn. I'll use the... Uh, you know, my little pony word for it that's got wings and a horn. 
um, and just the rainbow yarn hair. I was like, oh my god, it's like starlight. And the little stars, just the details on this are amazing. And it turns out it was made by an artist in Croatia. Um, and I think they had a few other items from her, but not another one of these. This is the only one they had. Um, so yeah, she had to come home with us. Thanks, Mom. I love it so much. <laughs> it fits right in. So speaking of starlight, yes, of course, I kept my magnificent, I still don't know what to call it, uh, it's not a prototype, because there's more than one, at least I don't think it is, but it's just very rare variant of starlight that has the two blues in the main, usually it's just one, and it has all the colors in the tail, not just pink and yellow and orange or whatever it usually has, yeah. Not just the Ronald McDonald colors, it has <laughs> all the colors and in its four locks up here as well. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but some of the yarns here are thicker than others. And that's another variant that I've pointed out in the past is the thick hair variant and the thin hair variant. Um, just because the yarn on some starlights is thicker than others. And here, like the orange is the thin and the red is the thick. I think it's pretty obvious there, the difference. Um, so yeah, check your starlight. Usually it's uniform. It'll be either thick or thin. It's not um, typically a combination of both. So he's just love him so much. Also got him from Germany. And there's another fan that has one as well from the same seller. We just got super lucky. So keep your eyes out. I'm really curious if more of those will show up. This I got at the same time as this guy up here. It was just a twink kind of day. Um, this was also a sample that Hallmark sent me. And he does have a tag, so he's not a prototype. Um, that's right, I figured out later on that these were actually sold in Canada of all places, but never in the States. He is a bean bag, beanie, I don't know what you, what, yeah, I don't know what to call it other than just beanie. Um, sorry, his tag keeps getting in the way. But yeah, he's got bean bag butt, so he sits up really well. Most starlights of this era, they don't really have a butt at all, just the seam of the fur, so they don't sit so well, but he sits beautifully, as you can see. And actually his little feet are bean bags too. Actually, and his arms. I guess I'd forgotten about that. So yeah, he's really special for those reasons. And then this is not Rainbow Bright. This is a fakey, but I've had it since I was a kid. I know I had an official starlight because I have pictures of me receiving him for my fourth birthday. I probably left it outside in the rain or something, you know, like things like kids will do. Um, and it probably got ruined or lost or something. So my parents were like, I'm not spending that kind of money again. Uh, this'll do. And I just love him. I think he's adorable. So he's got to come with me everywhere I go. So of course I also kept my stormy, um, I almost said prototype, no, 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 just kidding. Uh, custom, custom that I've had for many years and she's still one of the prettiest customs I've ever seen. Um, I do kind of wish she had the green eyes like I've seen some people do with paint, but that's it's totally fine. I love her so much. But yeah, she's got her little braid, her bow, her adorable, adorable outfit that just has so much love in it. Um, it's just, yeah, I can't quite remember at the moment who made her, I'm sorry, but I love her. And this little spray is also a custom, but I just think it goes really well with Stormy. <laughs> just cute. Okay, so this is just a, a postcard from the 2003 era. My brother actually got this one for me and wrote on it, so it's a keepsake now. Um, these sprites back here, oh gosh, where did I get you? I think they're also samples, or at least the big one is. Hang on. <laughs> I know I have a video where I'm talking. Oh, yeah, see, it's actually got a tag that says sample. There you go. Um, so they were probably thinking of making this size in the 2003 era and just never did. I'll hold it up beside this one for a comparison. It's a good bit bigger. Um, but yeah, I love that one so much. And putting this back left-handed is interesting there we go and this one are you also yeah okay this one's also a sample um maybe they just didn't make this color again i'm sorry my memory is me i will try to find that old video um where i talked about those when i first got them because at that time my memory was you know fresher because i had just gotten it and i knew where i got it from and why and all of that but anyway 
Love those sample dolls. Had to hang on to those. Um, these are the French Rainbow Bright books. I don't have all of them, but I have several and I live in Europe now. I'm not going to learn French. I can barely learn German, but I'm working on it. Um, but I just, I always loved them. And this is just a little notebook. I think my friend Patrick gave me this, if I recall. And I just think it's adorable. So yeah. And then down there is the Wit and Wisdom of Rainbow Bright book that came out in, what, 2016? Something like that. Uh, it's the lanyard from Hot Topic from back in the day. I honestly didn't mean to keep this. I think it was in a bag of other lanyards that I found in my bathroom <laughs> after we got here. Like, okay, why not? This is just a vinyl sticker that I think I got from Zazzle back in the day. And again, it was just with a bunch of other stickers. And I'm like, okay, cool. Why not? I did purposefully keep this mug from Truffle Shuffle because I just love it so much. It's the Star Stealer mug. And in here, we've got the, you know, I think they still not sell these. You can still get them. This one's like, well, it's not expired, but I never activated it. So it's not going to get you guys anything if you try to buy something with that number. So I don't care if you see it. Um, but yeah, I got one just to have it and never actually used it. What else is in this mug? This is, oh goodness. Um, <laughs> Here we go. This is some, some cool stuff. This is one of the Rainbow Bright fans since 1983 buttons that Michael and Ron sent me. And I think, where's the other one? Eh, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, somebody made this for me. I, maybe my nephew made this? That's terrible that I can't remember. I should know there was a reason I hung on to it. Maybe it's just cute. There's the other one. I knew it was in here. Or no, that's another one. I like, no, it is. No, it's not. Wait a minute. Did I read that wrong? No, that's correct. Okay. There's the Rainbow Bright fan one. And then here we go. The Rainbow Land Museum, Apex, North Carolina. Um, of course I kept, I think only one, but of course I kept one because memories. Yeah, I need to, <laughs> once I get some more shelves in here, I can display these things instead of just putting them in a mug. This is a little Starlight Dragon that Allie also made. Uh, she's the one that made this little night's break for me. Super, super talented. And I just fell in love with her dragons and had to get a starlight one. This is, oh no, stock. <laughs> one moment. Oh, oh, there we go. This is a key to Rainbow Land that Renee from RainbowBart.co made for me. Love it. So of course I had to hang on to that. And this little twink also came from Renee. This is one of the clippies. It has a little clip you can put on your purse and stuff. Uh, we exchanged at one point. We got a set of him and Rainbow, and I gave her Rainbow, and she gave me Twink. So <laughs> it's kind of like those best friend necklaces. We both have half. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, this is a funny little Lego guy that a friend gave me years ago. Okay, we're, we're at the bottom of the mug now. Um, I'll put that stuff back in a little bit. Anyway, yeah, cute stuff. Uh, over here, the Funko Pop, because they're adorable. I really hope they make more of these someday. This is my actual ornament from 1985, I think. What does it say, the year? Um, but yeah, this is the one I've had since I was a kid. Really? You're not gonna tell me the year? It's on the ornament, isn't it? Yeah, whatever, it's on there somewhere. Um, the old one. From the 80s whatever year that is this is the one that anita mara rogers signed for me uh which year is this one 2013 there we go and um, that's her name right there she's the one who designed it and when i met her in kansas city i got her to sign it yay and then this is the super rare convention exclusive i think it was a sdcc exclusive ornament um, that Hallmark actually gave one to me and one to Renee when we visited their headquarters all those years ago. So yeah, of course I had to hang on to that. Oh, and speaking of signed things, this is my little, oops, sorry for the cat here, um, lurky collectible card signed by Jeannie Slater, um, who, she's the one who came up with the character of Lurky. So yeah. I definitely kept some signed items just because those are specific to me and very, very special. 
Um, and yeah, I love Starlight more than I realized, I think, you guys, because I got here and was putting, you know, stuff on shelves and I'm just like, whoa, Starlight, Starlight, Starlight. <laughs> I really love Starlight, don't I? Um, but this is just a really, really cute custom Imigurimi Starlight that I think I got off Etsy years ago. And I just think he's so cute. I had to hang on to him. <laughs> this is my sample Starlight from the 2000... Why do I keep forgetting? Is it 15, 16? Those years. Um, he also says sample. I mean, it says sample slash prototype, but it's a sample. It's, it's got tags on it, for goodness sake. Um, but yeah, this was sent to me by Hallmark. <laughs> Apologies for the dog. And that's just a little cute rainbow pillow back there that a friend gave me. Um, but yeah, that was sent to me by Hallmark back when those dolls were first coming out so I could do a review of him. So he, he will always also be very special to me. And I'm trying to remember why I, ke why I kept these specific itty bitties. Like, she was super hard to get and rare. She was one of the limited edition ones and she sold out super fast. I mean, they made like 500 of her. I, but I don't remember why I got this Starlight. <laughs> Actually, this might be the one that Hallmark sent me. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Brain fart. Um, Hallmark also sent me one of these guys before they were out in stores. That's why. I knew there was a reason. But anyway, I love me some Starlight. So, on to some more Rainbow Bright before we get into the non-rainbow stuff. That I'll, I'll go through that much quicker. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is the trade paperback of the Rainbow Bright comic book that's got all, what is it, five issues in it. I don't think this one is signed or anything. Yeah, I think it came out after I was, you know, able to meet the people who worked on it. But I had, you know, I had every single issue, um, like every single cover option, except for one that was a, com a convention exclusive that I just never got my hands on. I had a whole stack of comics, you guys, and I I did let go of those, but I wanted at least one copy that I could refer back to because it was fun. Oh, I'm sorry. I did keep a couple other comics back here. I'll get to those in a second, um, but I, I barely kept any. Anyway, um, this is one of the Mexican sprites that someone that lived down there, you know, got for me years ago when we found out those were a thing. They were only ever sold there. And again, they're just super rare and they're super cute. Like there's a lot of rare stuff that I let go of, um, but some things just, I don't know, they speak to me a little more than others, I guess. And I had to, had to hang on to those. This is a CD of Bettina Bush that she actually signed for me um, or just signed. It wasn't specifically signed for me, um, but Renee had several of those and she, she sent me one. Thanks again, Renee. These are little cards I got from the writer of the comic, Jeremy Whitley, and he signed them, so I held on to those as well. My husband laser printed this it was a test, and I thought it was really cute, so I kept that too. Um, before I get to the stormy, yeah, so this is a fan drawn, well, sorry, not fan, um, it's just, it's custom art, I guess, you, I don't know what to call that. It's not just fan art, it's, well, I guess it is, sorry brain not working um but yeah chris wharton is the one who drew this and i think i got this at the same time that i met jeremy whitley i'm pretty sure it was at the same convention and it's got another design on the back as well but i have it you know boarded at the moment and in plastic because i don't want to mess it up but yeah i i got this at a convention i thought it was just this the super cutest thing um behind her well no it's more behind here is so one other copy of the comic I kept, and this is the one from North. Oh crap! <laughs> it just fell. Well, when I can fish that out, but I'll tell you what it is real quick. Um, it's the one from North Carolina Comic Con that I got all the people there to sign, and that convention was just super fun and yeah, also really good memories. So this this Stormy is one of the ones from the 2000 whatever 16. 17, whenever she came out, that line from Hallmark. Um, this one has had some things adjusted on her. We fixed her boots. Uh, my mother-in-law helped me switch. <laughs> we literally unstitched her boots and switched them and put them back on because they were backwards with the uh, lightning bolts. So we fixed that. And then Michael Ron rerouted her hair for me. So she's screen accurate, so adorable. 
and the hair is really nice and long and just, oh, it's so gorgeous and soft and wonderful. And the he also made this for her hair. He just does amazing work. So yeah, again, super special to me. Um, so uh, yeah, and then I've got some non-Rainbow Bright stuff mixed in too, because Rainbow Bright's not my only love. She's just one of my greatest ever. Um, love me some Humanity She-Ra. I won't go into all of this, but real quick, these comics are actually from my childhood. That's like the one thing I have left over from when my brother and I were kids is all the comics. All our figures disappeared at some point, but at least I have those as proof. <laughs> um, I've got my little Care Bears. Again, yeah, most of the stuff down here I'm probably going to say is from my childhood, and which is the reason I still have it, except these little My Little Ponies are not obviously from my childhood. They're not that old, um, but they were from a cake that one of my good friends made when I was getting married. Um, and then this is, yeah, my Firefly from when I was a kid. She's always been my favorite pony. This is a custom Rainbow Bright pony that my friend Topher, excuse me, Topher made for me when I got married. So, so cute. This is a cross stitch that I actually stitched myself. Yeah, sorry, Ronnie. I know you're <laughs> you're not thrilled that Rainbow Bright is um, Mortal Kombating somebody, but it's, it's just hilarious. I did not come up with this artwork. Um, someone else came up with that and I just found it online and it was already this pixel art style. So it was very easy to turn it into a cross stitch pattern. Um, so yeah, it was just, I don't know why, it was a must-do, and yeah, I had to keep it. Um, here's some more Rainbow Bright, and again, this is my special from my childhood shelf. So this is my original Rainbow Bright Little Twink, my original Romeo, and my original Red Butler. Um, like I said, the starlight I had disappeared years ago. No idea what happened to it. And this is my purse from when I was little. As you can see, it is well-loved, but I could not get rid of it. This is one of my... I, I can't remember if I have more than one, but yeah, this is at least one of the stamps I had from when I was a kid. This is not Rainbow Pride, obviously, but my aunt, who collects dolls, gave me this when I was really little, and I just thought it was the coolest thing ever, because she's super, super nice and sweet, and her collection is amazing. This, I don't quite remember why I kept this specific mug. Um, I'll have to think about that. Maybe it was just from Janine and I loved it and I wanted to keep something from Janine. Like, that would not surprise me. But I know it's a UK mug. I just, it's not one from my childhood. But, yeah, whatever the case. <laughs> it's great. And these are my crayons. My little Rainbow Bright crayons. Again, well loved from back in the day. But, I had to hang on to them. And yeah, that's the only thing in that mug. It's not the never-ending mug of stuff. Then we've got Kitty Bright and Poppy Bright. Um, this Poppy Bright is the special one that I still have not found another one like. He's the hard face, like you cannot squeeze his face. Most Poppy Brights, you just go in and go squish and they're very squishy, but he is not. Um, I think I've got a whole episode or you know video where we talk about him. I wanna say his face might've even been slightly wider than most Poppy Brights. Um, but there's that, and then his outfit, oh, let me pull him out here, is made from different material than any other Puppy Bright I've ever seen, ever. Or, also, um, that's what I was trying to say. I'm going to set him down. It's like this weird vinyl kind of... That's the best way to describe it, is just me scratching it and you hearing that noise. It's just... And like, see if I can press on it, you can hear that too. See? It's just, it's funky. I don't know what it is. And I don't, no, he doesn't have a tag. So I can't even tell you what country he was made in. But whatever the case, he's gorgeous and he's unique. So I have to hang on to him. Maybe one day I'll come across another one and can like get to the bottom of that mystery. Or maybe he's just a weirdo, like my starlight up there. Who knows? <laughs> and then this Kitty Bright I hung on to um, just because I wanted to have a Kitty Bright. They're hard to come by and they're adorable. And again, this one's a bit dirty. I could probably clean up her face a little bit. And honestly, I should probably do that. But I like her too. This may just be sun damage with her, her nose and her tongue but there's such a light peach color that I've also never seen before. So just in case it's not sun damage, in case she's a funny variant, 
that's why you know why I want to keep her too. I actually don't love the colors on the front of her. <laughs> I don't know. They're just they're not my favorite. Um, but there's no blue on the front of her at all. Just in her tail, because you know the tail's got all the colors. Um, but whatever the case, they're they're my special <laughs> my special rainbow pets. So they got to come to Switzerland. Uh, okay, let's see what's over here. These are more Care Bears and Care Bear Cousins and Care Bear Bad Guys that I've had since I was a kid. This is a card that my grandma actually gave me when I was a kid. Then my, um, what you call it? Oh my gosh, Cheer Bear, there we go. And Popple, also that I've had since I was a kid. I actually ended up with two Cheer Bears and I wasn't certain which one was the one from when I was a kid and which, you know, where the other one came from. Um, but I was pretty, I think it was like by the feel. There was something about the feel that, I don't know, I could just tell, like, nope, this is the one that was mine. <laughs> you know how that works sometimes. So, yeah. Um, these are random, again, that I've had forever. Um, I named this doll Samantha. She was just my precious little baby baby doll. I still love her little face. I think I found out what kind of doll she was years ago. I can't remember now, of course, uh, but I think they had like a boy one and a girl one and the boy had a little pink outfit. I'm sorry, blue outfit instead of pink. Um, it's not rare or anything, it's just, it's just adorable. But now I'm noticing that, wow, she's really discoloring with age. I mean, some of this is, I'm sure, just dirt. Well, actually, it's hard to tell if that's dirt or discoloring or what. What is on your head? Oh, goodness. <laughs> like white paint or something. I don't know. Sorry, little Samantha. I have not taken better care of you. Yeah, she was just in, like, some of these were just in bins. Oh, I kept both of them. Okay, never mind. I'll get to that in a sec. <laughs> I guess I couldn't figure out which one was mine, so I just kept them both. Um, so yeah, that's that. This was a Jelly Belly doll, which used to smell like, I don't know, grape jelly or something. Um, now all the stuff in her belly is just hard like a rock, but it used to be soft and squishy and smell really good. Um, so I've just loved those forever. This is one of those wands with, you know, like glitter and stuff in it. Because I'm a child and I still love this stuff. <laughs> Doesn't take up much, much space, why not? And this is my ticket, or several, I should say, um, from that North Carolina comic convention where they were showing Rainbow Bright and the Star Stealer on the big screen. And I got to do a little intro for it and everything. It was amazing. Um, and in this artwork, oh, I just love it. I love fan art so much. And I really miss my, you know, hallway of artwork that I used to have in the museum. But I was able to hang on. Oh, I completely forgot to talk about that Mingle up there. One moment. Um, but I just really love this one. And it just sits on things nicely. It doesn't have to be hung. Um, and same with this Moon Glow. Again, she was also never hung up in the museum. I meant to. She ended up in a closet and it just never happened. So I felt really bad for one because I'm like, this is really, really cute artwork. Like, there's a reason that I purchased it. And then she never really got to see the light of day. And I still am just in love with her. So she got to come to little stuff that's easy to display is, is always nice. Um, yeah, okay. So this is another <laughs> cheer bear. One of those two is the one I've had since I was a kid. So I kept them both because they're adorable. Why not? And then this hugs and tugs bear. Those are also ones I've had since I was little. And this little kitten doll. It's just a, what is it? It's made from rust toys. Nothing special about it. What's its name? Tabby. Oh, how original. But it's just adorable. And I've always, always loved cats and kittens. And I remember as a kid thinking this was just the cutest thing ever. And it still is. So yeah, some things get kept just because they're precious. And this notebook or journal is from the 2000s, I think. Yeah, yeah, I've had that a while. I just really love the artwork on it too. And never got used. Um, is there anything? Oh yeah, there's some more Rainbow Bright on the end there. Whatever, we'll start over here anyway. This brick, random, um, I was in a production of The Wiz, the musical, when I was in high school, and a bunch of the cast members, um, actually, I think it was the girl who played Dorothy, uh, she's the one who actually got these bricks, painted them yellow, and then a bunch of cast members signed it for me. It was kind of like a little yearbook almost, like, write little messages on it, and I just always thought that was really special, and I really enjoyed that play, so yeah, then we've got a bunch of, like, 
and these are old, you guys, as you can see, old Lisa Frank <laughs> folders that I've had forever. Then there's just some like holographic pretty ones, um, some random, I don't even know what that is, but just folders because they come in handy sometimes uh, and they don't take up much space either. So why, why get rid of them? And then some old Care Bear and Strawberry Shortcake notebooks, also from probably the same era as this, like the 2000s. And oh dear, I gotta go feed my dog a treat. Um, and just a little rainbow notebook that I think I got at World Market years ago because it's precious. I'm coming, puppy. <laughs> I'll come back to this in a second. Okay, so sorry about that. We have timers set for the dog's treat and dinner. Otherwise she doesn't know what time it is and freaks out and is like, where's my food? Anyway, um, this is just a little carrying case that I've had since I was, again, a kid, um, that my bestest friend in the world, Melissa, gave me. And it's, again, the cat thing. I was obsessed with cats when I was a kid, you guys, like obsessed. So <laughs> that's that. I think it has a bunch of like notes in it from my friends and I when I was in, you know, middle school. I don't know. I forget. And while I was paused, I reached back there and got this comic out that fell down. So yeah, this is the special one from North Carolina Comic Con with all the signatures. Yeah, I will put that where it's supposed to go in a bit. Okay, then we got some more He-Man over here. There's nothing in this actually. It's just the sleeve that the, the Prince Adam figure up there came in and it's just rainbow fabulous. So heading on to that. Some DVDs. Because, oh yeah, some of these are also signed. I just remembered. By like Lou Scheimer and stuff, which is freaking awesome. These are yearbooks. Oh yeah, I was just curious earlier. Real <laughs> sorry, <laughs> random aside. Okay, yeah, me and my husband were debating what year I started elementary school. I could not remember, and it was 85 and ended in 86. That's why I always get confused. Anyway, yeah, I was five years old when I started first grade. How about you? Um, here's some more random books about He-Man. Some random CDs. Sounds like the dog is coming up here. Oh, well, she can see her in a minute, too. Um... <laughs> These are actually some CDs that have some of my original songs on them. That was from like the mid 2000s, ancient history. <laughs> yeah, these are a few CD, um, what do you call them? Little inserts that I actually kept. I had a whole huge stack of them from like every CD I ever had. So I picked out my favorites and hung on to those. Um, and then this is like the He Man soundtrack from the show and the movie. That is a blanket back there. It's not official. Um, but a friend of mine gave me that years ago and actually it wasn't even that many years ago I don't think whatever I thought it was cute and <laughs> it came along this is I think a um what do you call it a family tree kind of thing that my mom gave me with pictures and stuff in it um some of this is just I don't know where else to put it so it gets to stay here at least for now like my yearbooks and whatever <laughs> and then here's all the rainbow bright books that I kept um from let's see about here like right behind this book back are all the german comics i am still missing a few so it's not like everyone ever hi mooney hey are you supposed to be up here no you're not no you're not supposed to be up here you're such a butt yeah i love you too um and then i kept you know this is like the katie katie's adventure in Rainbow Land, so I wasn't exactly gonna give that away. <laughs> like, anybody else named Katie is spelled like this? Nah, I, I love that. And I think, if not all, most of the rest of these are ones I kept because they're signed, because I brought them with me to that Rainbow Bright Day celebration in 2015. I think, yeah, that was 2015, wasn't it? I'm telling you my years. No, dog, no. No, we're not, we're getting go, dog, go. We're saying no, dog, no. She wants to play, of course, with the loudest toy possible. I'm just going to set it up there. <laughs> so that's it. That's everything on my shelves. And then there's a couple... Ah! Mooney! No, ma'am! God, she never messes with this stuff. But of course, I'm here looking at it. So she's like, oh, should I be interested? Anyway, um, I did accidentally keep this rainbow bright trash can from the 80s. It's one of those metal ones. Yeah, y'all know that sound. <laughs> if you grew up in the 80s, you know that sound. 
Yeah, I didn't actually mean to keep this. It just accidentally got left out of the boxes of stuff that I meant to um, send off to the auction house. And by the time I realized it, it was, you know, the other stuff was long gone. Um, and I did send them a few, I mailed them a few things that I forgot, but that was kind of big. And I was like, you know, I could just hang on to it. Man, leave it. Good girl. So I did. Uh, <laughs> and then I'll show y'all a couple other things that don't have to do with shelves. Yeah, apologies for the like cat beaters. Um, this bathroom is dirty. Y'all don't want to see the whole thing. But I kept the shower curtain because it's adorable and it makes me really happy and I get to see it every day. So yeah, <laughs> I knew y'all would appreciate. So yeah, there's, oh yeah, and there's a little mud over here. Hang on. Again, this stuff is dirty. I don't want to show y'all this whole sink. I really need to do some cleaning. Um, this mug's a bit dirty too, but, oh, is that my finger in the way? Sorry. This mug that also came from Truffle Shuffle, I just, I love it so much. And this image of Rainbow Bright is, is it the second one? Eh, now I'm going to forget. Now there's the first one that I ever scanned and put on the web. Because that's right, the only other pictures were the ones from the web ring and that one page that had a little story on it. Um, but yeah, this image of her was at the very top of my very first web page. So it's special for reasons. So I get to keep my toothbrush in it now. <laughs> and okay, don't at me about my dirty room and my high wisp. Um, my unmade bed. I do that for the cat, I swear. She loves to cuddle on it, and it's much more comfy if it's not made. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yeah. So over here on my desk, I have a couple other Rainbow Bright things. Um, that mug actually goes downstairs, but whatever. It's up here right now. Um, and then I've got some Rainbow Bright clothing that I hung on to. Yes, I do sort my t-shirts by color, and I used to have so many more, but whatever, we're not gonna get into that. Um, these up here, from here over, are all rainbow bright. Um, I guess it wouldn't kill, well, if I can move this other stuff over more. Come on. Ooh. Real quick, I can, <laughs> I think, show you all the designs that I kept, and if there's any particular reason, I'll point it out, but I think most of these I just liked. Um, oh, and there goes the dog. Okay, whatever. So this is a mix, as you can see, of... Oh yeah, this is like a shirt a day site where they only sold it for a day. Um, and oh, same with this one. I also have a purple version of that. So there's a whole mix. Like here's another one of Elidors that I got off of Tee Public. And there's, yeah, there's the purple, what does it actually say? My Little Starlight, yeah. Um, so there's a mix of official and non-official, I think mostly non-official, but... <laughs> Wait, where did that one come from? Yeah, I don't remember. Um, yeah, lots of Elador designs that I hung on to because they're just so cute. And she doesn't sell all of these designs anymore. Wow, Elador, I have so many of your shirts. <laughs> I hope you're flattered. Uh, this one is an, actually an official one. I don't remember when or where from. Oh yes, and I kept my Star Stealer shirt because oh, that was such a big deal that they made that. A couple of Rainbow Bright sweaters that are from Truffle Shuffle. I really thought I was going to be wearing sweaters a lot more here in, you know, Switzerland that you would think is really cold, but apparently I'm a layers girl and if I put on stuff like that that I can't easily take off, I will just overheat. So, <laughs> not wearing so many sweaters, but at least I kept a couple. This is, yeah, this blue is my favorite color ever, so that's probably one reason I hung on to that one. Oh yeah, this design, this is a junk food shirt, probably was sold at, um, actually yes, this was a Hot Topic years ago. I had one and then it went away. So I think I found this on eBay whoops, or somewhere like that and got another one. This is another junk food shirt. Um, and I just really love this design. And again, it's my favorite color. And it actually says Rainbow Bright on the back. 
really unique. This is one of just my favorite designs ever. I never grow up. That's my motto, even in Switzerland. This is <laughs> when they sold it at uh, Walmart right before I moved, I think. This was, was probably early 2023 or late 2022. It was like a pajama set. Um, so yeah, I've, I've never actually worn it. I think it's a little oversized because it's supposed to be, but whatever, it's cute. Um, this is another junk food shirt where they stole my design. Uh, <laughs> to make a long story short, this is a piece of fan art that I did years and years ago. If you have the coloring books that have this original picture in it, it's supposed to be patio green. Um, I mean, it's a coloring book, so you can color it whatever, you, whatever color you want, but I had to make a lot of edits. Like, I completely changed the hair to make it more like Tickle Pink's hair. I, you know, changed the little outfit to put the rainbow on it, like her outfit. Um, and they did not realize that it was fan art, and they put it on a shirt. Uh, they did not want to believe me when I told them what they had done. But they, eventually they did. <laughs> no, I did not get any money for it. I didn't really expect to. I just wanted some recognition, you guys. Just wanted to, yeah, I just wanted them to know. Um, this is my Dazzle Bright shirt from the Xeller Kids that Ray made. You, uh, I guess it was several years ago at this point. I just love those guys so much. And then finally, love is love is love is love. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of my Rainbow Bright clothing. I did keep a few costume pieces as well. Um, Hang on, I'm gonna look at this drawer before I shove you guys' faces in it. Oh my god, it's a mess. I apologize for the cat hair on the Harry Potter robe right here. I don't know how that happened. Um, but as you can see, there's definitely some Rainbow Bright stuff in here. Like my leg warmers that I got specially made years ago. Oh, this is the top from that, um, the top and the bottom from that particular costume I got made. This is not Rainbow Bright, this is Charlie Brown. My raver pants, because, you know, you never know when you'll need raver pants. Uh, I love this belt. Um, what else is in here? That's a she thing. Uh, oh, there's my Rainbow Bright, well, what I use as Rainbow Bright shoes. Oh, there's the other color belt that I made. Oh, that's so bad with the cat hair, sorry. Living with two cats and a dog on hardwood, hard wood floors has completely changed my opinion of <laughs> flooring <laughs> and ignore this stuff over here that's not staying um it's just there for the moment but and you can hear how echoey it is in here oh my god it's so bad i apologize for the audio on this and my previous uh video um i'll work on that i'm still trying to figure out what to do with this space maybe y'all can give me some ideas well hi wisp you gotta come show it off okay so like there's the entrance to the room and the bathroom and then there's just this wall so yeah i think i said in my last video i have plenty of space to put shelves it's just a matter of i don't know where i want to put them and hi yeah hi sienna yes. and now she's gonna look away um yeah i've just got random cat stuff over here because i don't know where else to put it at the moment but again Lots of just wall space. Um, I don't want to put something too close to the stairs just so you're not running into it every time you come up and down. But there are options. Um, you know, I don't want to put anything right in front of these windows because I really like looking out them. I'm going to show you all my view. Sorry about the blinds. <laughs> um, oh, it's behind that tree. I wanted to point out something. Yes, it is still winter right now, so there's not so much green on the trees. But there will be, really soon, really soon. Um, so yeah, I don't want to cover up my, my pretty views, but I definitely have some space to work with um, there. And then where this nonsense is over here against the stairwell, um, oh, I won't be too proud, whatever. It's just stuff that has to go somewhere. Um, here against the stairs, I could also put something, either short shelves or a place to sit. So if you've got any thoughts, let me know. But it's great now being in this space and knowing how much space I, I do and don't have and how much space all this took up um, to go forward and figure out what I want to do next uh, as far as more collectibles go. Because, y'all, it's almost impossible to not collect 
after collecting for so many years. Um, I mean, yeah, y'all know. I collected from 1995 until just a couple years ago. Um, so that's a very hard habit to break. So we'll see. We'll see. But I hope that this answered y'all's questions about what I kept and why. And if you've got any other questions, let me know. Okay. Have a rainbow day. Bye.